Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever had a cut before? When has wound, people always use wound closure to cover and protect the wound from contamination. So, is it better if the wound closure can provide a better recovery? This is my great honor to be here. My name is Poi Pei Lin Zansi from Surawiwa School, Thailand. Today, I came up with my project, Shape Memory Properties of Polylactic Acid and Polycarpolactone Blends Film for Smart Wound Closure Application. So, let's get started. This is my presentation outline. First of all, I will introduce you to the wound closure and how shape memory properties can provide better recovery. And then, I will move on to the methodology with synthesis the polymer, followed by the results, including physical properties, and then conclusions. So, let's begin with an introduction. As you may know that wound closure is one of the most important steps in the healing process, but the fore exertion during the process can be unstable, and stitches require a new opening of the skin, which can negatively affect on the wound and the healing process. By this reason, we have looked for alternative ways to improve the wound closing process. And one of the promising ways is to use chain memory polymers. Chain memory polymers or sesame peas can be used for closing off the wound by triggering them with an external stimuli, and they can return into their permanent shape. I would like to point out that their permanent shape can be designed as they pull the two sides of the wound together, which is beneficial for wound closure application. So, let me tell you why we decided to choose these two types of polymers, polylactic acid and polycarpolactone. It can be denied that several polymers possess the shape memory properties. However, polylactic acid, or PLA, is one of the most outstanding polymers for medical application. And it is also known to be biocompatible and biodegradable. But the only drawback of this polymer is its brittleness. Unlike polycarpolactone, polycarpolactone, or PCL, is not only safe for medical application, but it is also more ductile than PLA. Furthermore, adding of dichromium peroxide or DCP was explored for improving the compatibility between PLA and PCL. So, in this study, we aim to improve the properties of PLA by bending with PCL and to produce the film, which is suitable for wound closure application. So, Let's move on to the methodology. There are two sections. The first one is sample preparation, and the last one is testing properties. This is how we prepare the film. Firstly, PLA and PCL will dry under vacuum at 40 degrees Celsius for the 24 hour prior to use. The films will prepare with a solvent casting method, which we use coliform as a solvent. So, there are five different variants of solution, which are PLA, PCL, 20%, 30%, and 50% of PCL in PLA. After that, we cape each solution in closed bottle during the mixing process. And then we pour them into the plate and dry them in an oven to ensure the complete evaporation of coliform. To improve the properties of the film, we add that 0.2 and 0.5% of DCP into 30% PCL in PLA. And then we can follow the same step as before. But in the final step, we have to reheat them again in an oven for initiating cross-linking reaction. So, this is how we ran the taste. We ran the taste on the film's memory properties, tensile properties, and examined the ultrastructure by using optical microscope. Now, let's look how we ran the taste on the film's memory properties. Firstly, the film were cut into the square shape, and then they will form into full shape in the water of 45 and 60 degrees Celsius before they will cool in the water. After that, to allow them to show the recovery shape, we have to reheat them again in the water. Then measure the angle so that we can find the shape recovery ratio by this equation. The shape recovery ratio is the value that we use for determining the properties of the film. So, now, let's look at the result from shape memory testing. This graph shows the comparison between the sample and the shape recovery ratio. 
As you can see that 30% PCL in PLA with 0.2% DCP has the highest shape recovery ratio, which is 81.1%. Next, look at the result from tensile strength testing. This graph illustrates the comparison between a sample and that stress. It is obvious that PLA has the highest stress, which means the highest in brittleness. On the other hand, this sample, which is 30% PCL in PLA with 0.2% DCP, has the lowest stress, which indicates the best in flexibility. Now, let's look at the pictures from optical microscope examination. As you can see that PLPCL and PLA were neat and smooth, as they appear that black and white dots are dispersed orderly. But if we mix them together, it would separate from each other. However, after we added the suitable amount of DCP, which is 0.2%, it showed the most fine-grained ultrastructure, which indicates the base incompatibility. Conclusions 30% PCL in PLA has the highest shape recovery ratio, which is 64.2%. In cooperation of DCP of 0.2%, further improve the shape recovery ratio up to 81.1%. Phase separation was explored through optical microscope, which indicated the incompatibility. But the compatibility is improved with presence of DCP. Now, we knew how to produce the film with shape memory properties. In the next step, the biocompatibility will be tested and the films will be developed into a smart wound closure, which is safer for medical application. This is our research team. And our work has been supported by Assistant Professor Tadiya Trong Sathit Gun. So, thank you for watching patiently and attentively.